You know, in tough times like these, it's nice to get good news every now and again, and I am so happy to report that all 12 Thai boys and their coach have been rescued from the cave they've been trapped in for more than two weeks. Hey! Hey! That feels good. That's... Yeah. That's, it's, it's a great story that gives everyone hope, and it reminds us of the importance of permission slips for field trips to flooded <laughs> caves. Everybody loves this story. Yeah. Are you yeah. listening, Mr. President? Freeing children makes people like you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the United States is still imprisoning thousands of migrant children that were taken from their parents. In a court ruling last month, the judge gave Trump until today to reunite all of the kids aged five and under with their parents. But the good guys over at ICE say that of the 102 such children now in custody, authorities have been able to identify and locate the parents of only 54 because when they separated the families, there was no reunification plan in place. So there are 48 toddlers still in cages. These kids would have a better chance of being reunited with their parents if they went spelunking with a Thai soccer coach. <laughs> Even the plan for the kids who are being returned to the parents is unsettling. According to reports, in an effort to avoid media and protesters, staff at child detention centers have been instructed that they're to put the children in vans and take them to locations that are as yet unknown to them. So we're at the point, as a nation, where the good news is that the government is throwing kids into unmarked vans. Next, we're supposed to be cheering on America's heroic sewer clowns. <laughs> but every detainee gets to go in front of an immigration court, including recently in Phoenix, when a one-year-old had an appearance in front of an immigration judge who said, I'm embarrassed to ask it, I don't know who you would explain it to, unless you think that a one-year-old could learn immigration law. They better hope not. <laughs> Your Honor, I may be a simple country baby, <laughs> but even I can tell that the rank smell of oppression is in the air, possibly because I made a boom boom in my ditty. <laughs> Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor, permission to approach the bench for a fresh pair of pamples. <laughs> Perhaps a handful of Cheerios to work on my fine motor skills. Where is justice? Where is justice, I say, because justice rolled behind the couch and I lack object permanence. 